I guess the two things to think about are, one, I think uh, the uh, quality and tenor of your personal interactions actually matters a lot. You know, there are some things that are absolutely table stakes, like honesty and integrity. And if you see any bad signs there, you should run away at 100 miles an hour. Um, but then there's, uh, you know, there, there's deeper things about your, your interaction and your working style. Um, you know, I think uh, one interesting question that you should really think about is how much should you argue with you know, someone you're working closely with? Because it's not obvious that you want to be in, uh, you, know, you clearly just don't want to be the two of the same people or that's kind of wasteful. You, 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 know, you hopefully have some, uh, have some conflict and some diversity of opinion uh, such that you're both bringing different perspectives to the table. Uh, but at the same time, you probably don't want to be too far, you know, too diverse in opinions where, you know, Max Levchin uh, describes how when they merged x.com and PayPal, you know, uh, PayPal were all Unix people and Windows uh, or and x.com were all uh, Windows Server people uh, and they kind of smushed them together and it was bedlam because you had these two people who had you know red team blue team two completely different ways of doing things and you know n n it's unclear whether one was you know better than the other in that context but they certainly didn't work together and so if you know if it's productive disagreement that uh, that let you know that results in a better product, then that's great. If it's kind of stylistic disagreement that you can't get past, uh, and you do just have two different approaches for for doing something, then that's maybe uh, a sign that you're not going to be able to work that well together.